What is going on everybody? Well listen, we are back for another video and if you are new to the channel, thank you for stopping by and welcome. If you have been here for a while, you may notice that there's a rack system behind me here. We're not going to talk about that in today's video, but we will get to that soon. So I think what we'll do is uh, we'll end up doing a fish room tour, right? Because this is the fish room on the Christopher Scott channel and major changes have gone on in the last couple of weeks. I know I promised you guys that we would be coming out with the 300 gallon skate video next. However, you know, unfortunately that hasn't happened quite yet. We're still working on gathering products and materials and things of that nature, but that is coming very soon, I promise you. But in the meantime, I really needed to revamp the fish room significantly just simply because we have so many tanks and there were tanks all throughout my house and all different rooms and I wanted to be able to consolidate those all into one a single room in my home. That way when I'm filming it is a lot easier and things of that nature. So that's what I've done and we're going to go through that in another video. We'll end up doing a fish room tour looking at all the different fish that we have in here. But for today's video, we are going to be focusing on one specific tank, and that is this tank right here. I don't know if you've seen this video. If you have not, I will link a card above, but we built this epic waterfall tank. What we are going to be doing is we are actually going to be stocking this. I had put some neon tetras in there before, and honestly, they just weren't what I was looking for. I feel like there should be something else in here. So today we're going to turn this into a breeding tank of a specific type of creature. So let's get out and get what we need for this tank today and get into this video. All right, guys, well, we are back from Aqua Studios with our fish that we're gonna be putting into this tank that's right down here. But before we get into the fish, I actually wanted to show you something else that we've picked up. So we went ahead and picked up some plants as well. The first plant we have, it's called a Kleiner Barb Sword, which is actually a really good looking sword here. So we're actually gonna go ahead and float that right up in here in this beta tank and let that sit there. And we actually picked up three of those. I'm not sure exactly what we're gonna do with them just yet, but we have them in case we need them. So I'm going to drop those right in there. There's a nice looking plant there. Look at that. We also picked up a few of the regular Amazon swords. And this is just really because Amazon swords are a great plant to have. They're super easy to maintain. They're low tech. You don't have to have a lot of crazy light. You don't have to have any kind of CO2 systems. They're just really overall good, easy swords. And honestly, this tank is about simplicity and low maintenance. So drop that one in there, put another one up here. So one of the other things that we picked up is I needed some neurite snails for a couple of tanks. We went and picked up some green neurite snails as well. Well, let's talk about what we're gonna be doing in this tank down here. I know that we do this already, right? I mean, I know that we have tons of guppies and we're breeding guppies, but you know what? I'm gonna start with we're gonna be putting guppies in this tank. Number one is we have these amazing looking little Dumbo ear. I don't even know if you'd call them red mosaics or cobra guppies. I'm not really sure but these things are amazing looking. So we're gonna be dropping these in this tank today. So we're gonna go ahead and drop this in and let it acclimate. Can't have those without females. So we have a one to two ratio which I really like to do one to three ratio but the tank's just not big enough. I'll keep it very close eye on them and just make sure everything goes okay but if I see that the males are pestering them a little too much then we will in fact drop those out of there but we're gonna go ahead and acclimate these guys and finally how about some shrimp I have never kept shrimp in my entire life but today that's gonna change so we have picked up six of these beautiful little blue velvet shrimp and we are going to be putting those into this tank today. We're going to be breeding guppies and shrimp in this waterfall tank which I think is going to look pretty epic but we'll have to wait and see what happens. So let's go ahead and get these guys acclimated as well. All right guys well everything is acclimated and we're going to go ahead and get these guys in here but let's start with these little guppies here. Male guppy number one is in. Male guppy number two is in. And there go the shrimp. We'll probably never see them again. Not really. <laughs> I'm sure they'll come out at some point. 
And finally, the female guppy. This tank will start to clear up. Oh, there's one of the shrimp right there. But I went ahead and went with blue velvet shrimp as well as these guppies just simply because they are peaceful and, you know, they can all hang out together. Look at that guy. And the great thing is too, is there's a lot of algae in here on these pieces of driftwood, which the shrimp will absolutely take care of, which is fantastic. I think that it's gonna be pretty great, to be honest with you. The guppies and the shrimp and everything else that's in here, I think it's gonna be an absolute epic tank. I can't wait until there's guppy fry and a bunch of baby shrimp running around because that's gonna be awesome. My question is, is I know if you're gonna keep shrimp and you're gonna try to breed them, you really should feed them a really high-end shrimp food. So my question to you guys is, do you keep shrimp and if you do, what kind of food do you feed your shrimp so make sure you comment below and let me know but hopefully you guys like the fact that we have put some blue velvet shrimp and some guppies in here to reproduce and uh hopefully have like a really cool tank so let me know in the comments all right guys well it's been about 24 hours since we put these fish in here and as you can tell the water is cleared up significantly and if we look way back in the back there there's one of the male guppies eating there is one of the females. There's one of the little blue shrimp. Oh, there's another female there. We have a couple of green neurite snails, actually three of them in here. And those are eating very well and moving around. But overall, this thing turned out really well and I think I really like the fish. There's one female there, there's two there. And there's another male way back there. And I'm sure the fourth female is back up under there as well. But everything in this tank is looking fantastic. So make sure you drop a comment below and let me know what you think about our fish selection for this tank. I think I'm gonna go ahead and move some more floating plants in here. I had some frog bit in here at one point and I took it out, but I think some frog bit will be good just simply when these guys start to reproduce, we wanna have some floating plants in here for the fry to hide. So I'll go ahead and do some of that as well. So let's grab some out of this tank. And as you can see, there is plenty in here and we'll go ahead and drop this in here just like this and that will be fine. That stuff will reproduce so quick and we'll have a whole bunch more frog bit in here very soon which will allow for these little guppy fry to hide all right guys make sure you go ahead and drop a comment and let me know what you think about our fish selection for this tank all right guys well hopefully you went on to enjoy the video and we will be doing a tour of the new fish room setup very very soon so stay tuned for that the 300 gallon scape video is also going to be coming very soon so do not get discouraged so make sure that you subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you do not miss the content that's soon to be coming out here on the Christopher Scott channel. We are truly grateful for each and every one of you. We are truly grateful for the opportunity to film and bring videos to you guys that hopefully you are enjoying. So if you have any video ideas or any feedback in any way, shape, or form, you are always welcome to drop that in a comment below, or you can find all of my contact information in the description of every video. That includes a phone number, email address, you can DM me on Instagram, you can find me on Facebook, anywhere and anyhow, make sure you provide the feedback because we want to make sure that the content we're putting out is enjoyed by you. So make sure you give us some feedback. So thank you very much. And if you have not subscribed or you haven't followed us on Instagram yet, please do that now. And hey, we will see you next time. <laughs>